if one of the things that's holding you back from um, starting your YouTube channel or creating that video is your background or you feeling like your space isn't aesthetically pleasing enough or you don't have the background or the setup that you want, then please keep on watching this video because this video is for you. What you're going to learn here will, will help you create any background at all that you want for your videos using just two softwares and you can do this for free completely for free i'm going to show you how to achieve this using your laptop and on your mobile phone Hey guys welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is rejoice and if you're new here welcome and thank you for clicking on this video today now as the channel um the title already says in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how i achieved this background and how you can achieve any background you want for your youtube videos using just two softwares but before that please if you're not yet subscribed to my channel click on the subscription button so you can subscribe and click on the notification bell so you get notified each time i post something new before i get straight into the tutorial let me just state some of the things that you would need to be able to achieve this kind of background and many more first of all you need to make sure you're filming when you want to film the video you want to change the background of you film in a well-lit environment light up your room use artificial lights if you have them if you don't have them face your window shoot it during the daytime face your window and make sure you have enough light coming at you and then secondly, make sure that your phone is or your camera, it doesn't really matter what you're filming with. I am currently filming with my phone. So you can film with your phone or your camera, but make sure it is stable. This means that make sure you place it on a tripod or place it somewhere that it doesn't shake. Don't have somebody hold it for you. Don't do that. It will shake. And then when, when that happens, it will, it will not give you a seamless outcome when you want to change the background. And also with the light, if you don't have enough light coming at you, when you go to change the background, you have like pockets of shadows on your videos and it will not look, it will look too artificial. It will not look natural. You know, and we want it to be as natural as we can get it to be, right? Yeah. So that is the second one. Make sure your, your phone or your camera is stable. Then thirdly, make sure you're not moving too much because if you're moving too much. You would have an issue with when you change the background. It will, it, you just expose yourself. <laughs> so make sure you're not moving your hands too much. You're not moving your body too much when you're filming so that you can have a more natural outcome. All right. Enough of all the gist, even though those are important. Yeah, but let's get straight into the tutorial. So the first software we're going to be using is called Canva. If you don't have it, just go to your browser, type canva.com and register with your email and you'll be able to use it. I'm working on my laptop currently. So once this interface opens, once you register, this place opens, you search for YouTube thumbnail. We're searching for YouTube thumbnail because it will give us the exact measurement for our YouTube video. So our background can have the same measurement as our video. Then once this opens, you click on create blank. So once this opens up, Please note that there's a free version of Canva and also a paid version. But what I'm about to show you, you can definitely do with the free version. So next thing is to go to Elements here by the side. Then scroll down when you're in Elements. Scroll down, down a bit and you see AI Image Generator. Create your own. Click on it and here it opens up a text box for you to describe whatever you want. And what, whatever you describe here, AI creates it for you. And it will, anyway, you say, let me not go ahead of myself. A desk with a flash screen on it, a table plant, a modern lamp, an art piece. Guys, I'm really terrible at description. <laughs> let me just tell you, but just play with the have fun with it and see what it gives you. Once you're done with describing, you click on generate image. So it generates four images at once, four images at once. Here are our images. Well, if you don't like any of it, you can just click 
um, down there on generate again and it will regenerate um, fresh images for you but let me just click on this one and once it appears on the blank screen all you have to do is to drag and fill up the screen you drag it to the extent you want or how you want it to appear on your background you can still edit it further in, in the editing software we're going to be using but that's it for now and what I'd like to do is to have more options I just click on add page it will give me a fresh page and I can click on more image or generate more images depending on how I, I or what I want and then I said YouTube logo what is this <laughs> oh, okay So that's it. You keep doing this until you get what you want. You can go back here to describe fresh um, ideas and let the AI generate. And once you're done with that, having the options that you want, just go up here to share. Then go down here to download. I like to download my images on PNG just because I feel like it's better quality. I don't know. But if you want to change, if you want to download JPEG, you can do it by just clicking down there. And I'm downloading all four images. So I will leave it at all pages. If you don't want, you can deselect or select which page you want to download. Then click done. After that, you click on download. Now these images will download to my system as pictures, of course for us to use in the next phase. So I just imported um, the images I'm going to be using on CapCut, which is the second software I'm going to be using to edit my videos. So these are the background images I've decided to use and I'm, using on, I'm clicking on this one. That's what I'm deciding to use. I don't know, I might change my mind later. I don't know, but let's see how it goes. Then you import, import the video um, I'm sorry, you import the video you're about to change the background or the video you just filmed. You click on it and it will appear on the timeline as well. Now you drag and drop it on top of the um, background. This will turn it into an overlay. Then drag the picture to fit the length of your video. Once this is done, go up there to effect. You see video effects. Go down to lens. But before we act add the blur effect let's remove the background of our main video click on the video you go to this side where you see move background click on it go down to where you see auto removal click on it then you have to wait for the background to be off but while it is done I mean while it is going on click on the blur and drag it onto the background so I'm just going to reduce the blur effect I, I took it to 20 sorry I don't know why that cut off but now I have the so effect that I want and I'm just adjusting my just main video to fit the screen how I want it once you're you okay with your video you can click on export you do the whole setting I usually export on 4k because I film on 4k on my phone and that's it now for the mobile phone, if you don't have Canva, just go to your Play Store and download it. I already have it, so it's showing updates. Once you do that, you register. It's typically almost like the same process, just with a tiny little difference. And I'm just going to show you the difference in just a bit. So once you do everything, you, you search for YouTube thumbnail, click on blank or this plus. Then the difference is down here. The plus sign is where you click on to find effects just be beneath click on effects and then from here on everything is pretty much the same you generate describe your images it generates them for you and that's it now on my cap cut i import the images i need editing this on cap, cap cut is a lot more easier than on the system so once you click on that click on click on overlay and import the main video you want to work on again extend your image to be the same length as your video once that is done click on your main video to remove the background scroll down click on cut out 
remove background while the background is processing just click on check it will take you back then uh, while the background is also processed I'm just uh, adjusting my video to fit the screen the way I want it now go back back again back again and look for effect that's it video effect that's it then scroll to look for lens and go down and look for blur click on it but it is too blurred so I'm just adjusting it I'm taking it to 2022 until I'm satisfied with how it looks it's pretty much easier to do it here on mobile phone in my opinion then I, I think I'm going with that so I clicked on check then pull the blur effects to the same length as your video so that you can cover the whole background or to cover the video you want to change the background of. Please subscribe to the channel if you've watched up to this point. Please, please, please support the channel. Thank you. Now this is pretty much done. I'm just going to wait for the background to completely be done. It's at 50% now and I will export it on 4K set to export. And that's pretty much it. And that's it guys. That is how I achieved this background and so many more. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section for me. I'll definitely reply to them. And again, if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, please, if you watch up to this point, kindly subscribe to the channel. It just shows you enjoyed the video. And also give it a thumbs up, please. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.